there's something a bit odd about the value we attach to gold. Throughout history, people have gone to extraordinary lengths to get their hands on this most precious substance. Which is strange, because it isn't particularly useful for anything. Most of the gold that's been extracted throughout human history has ended up as jewellery. But it has got one thing going for it, and that's that it is incredibly rare. All the gold mined from the earth in all of human history would only just fill three Olympic-sized swimming pools. And it's that scarcity that makes gold valuable. But gold is just one of many rare elements. There are over 60 elements heavier than iron in the universe. Some are valuable like gold, silver, platinum. Some are vital for life like copper and zinc. And some are just useful like uranium, tin and lead. But across the universe there are vanishingly small amounts of those heavy elements. The reason for that scarcity is that creating substantial amounts of the heaviest elements requires some of the rarest conditions in the universe. And we need to look far into space to find them. In a galaxy of 100 billion stars, these conditions will exist on average for less than a minute in every century. That's because they are only created in the final death throes of the very largest stars. Stars of at least nine times the mass of our sun. Only they can reach the extreme temperatures needed to create large amounts of the heavy elements. Deep in the heart of the star, the core finally succumbs to gravity. It falls in on itself with enormous speed. And rebounds with colossal force. As the blast wave collides with the outer layers of the star, it generates the highest temperatures in the universe, 100 billion degrees. These conditions last for just 15 seconds, but it's enough to form the heaviest elements like gold. It's called a supernova the most powerful explosion in the universe. 